Hello YouTube, this is Alpha Computing and this is a first look at the beta release of Windows Live Essentials. All the links mentioned in this video are going to be available on alphacomputing.net slash p slash 193. We're going to go over all the new features in Messenger, Windows Live Sync, beta. The rest in this pack are available on alphacomputing.net slash p slash 193. So let's dig right in then. So I'm going to start off with Messenger. This is what the new Messenger looks like when you open it. Uh, you get the new social features which is the feed of all the other social networks on other networks you run. So this is mine and this is everything I share. These are the videos I've favorited and created. This is the latest video, how I record my videos. This is what's happened. I've connected to YouTube, CNET, Blogs, RSS, connected to Dig. You can add quite a few networks. I'm going to go ahead and click connect more services and it's opening up here. And you see these are just the featured ones. We get Facebook, YouTube, MySpace, Blogger, all the big ones, but no Twitter yet. I'm not sure why not. Get WordPress, CNET, Dig, Live Journal, Daily Booth, I Like, Smug Mug. You can even import your own RSS. Go to all. So this is everything you get. Again, Blog RSS. Blogger, a lot I haven't even heard of, but you get the gist of this. You get like everything here. We is the next, There's even more. Some Chinese ones, TypePad, StumbleUpon, Zoo. So, plenty to choose from and plenty to link up. And actually, I'm going to show you right now. When you add one, you get privacy settings, unlike on Facebook. So, let's say I wanted to edit uh, my CNET feed. I have shared with everyone public here, I can change that, I have three settings, friends and their friends or just friends. There's no point of having none because why would you even share it? So that's what you can import and it all shows up in your feed and every, everyone else's feeds show up in the highlights and recents and photos. I'm not going to show you because private stuff people share. If you'd like to add me on MSN, it's alpha at alphacomputing.net. And all the features on here you also get in the new iPod and iPhone app. You get the feed and everything through this. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna chat with myself now and here I am. So you see down here everything's moved been moved from the top up here down to this just bottom here with this little arrow. If you extend this out now, more of them show up. The block has now changed to appear offline to this person, so you don't actually block the person, you just appear offline. The emoticons have been refreshed. Get new emoticons, aliens, and all this stuff. The only thing is, the emoticons look just like the the nudge. We I confuse it a bit, and I keep nudging people. Get games, which never seem to load up, and activities, request remote assistance, and what's basically been here all along. And a new thing, I can now make sure this window is always on top, so I can always be chatting to myself. Font settings which we've always had and so I can change the font, change the colour then I can go ahead and chat nothing's different, it's all the same so if you don't like this new layout you can go back to the normal one, all your friends show up here on the side but you can by clicking this switch to compact view go straight back to where it looked like before, all the favourites and groups you can drag people around, make them a favourite and search through uh, now you might notice the theme option up here which changes your sort of background theme is left it's now in the menu here and you can personalize messenger and change your theme I personally prefer this because that little fold out thing always got in my way you have a bunch of new ones to choose from like this what, this wallpaper that comes with Windows 7 also you get a few more options down here you can change your badge, change your picture. Badges are like you get on some Twitter services where you can have a little thing uh, next to your avatar to show your support for things. You can appear offline, away busy, all the normal. You can sign out from this area. Clara, that's the name of my computer. More options hasn't changed, but I do get a new conversations options. I can enable tad conversations, which I love don't have to have a million windows open, they can just be tabbed just like you would in a web browser 
and warn me before closing my duplicate tabs just like Firefox does. And I can then update my status up here and add a photo or a link. So I could say uh, making a video. And I can then add the link alpha computing.net slash p slash one nine three. I hit enter it'll preview it for me and an error has occurred. This is a beta, don't worry, this will be resolved. So that's the new messenger beta. Now I'm gonna move over to Live Sync. Now this is completely new and what Live Sync allows you to do is two things. First you get a Dropbox like file sharing mechanism so you can keep your files synced up to every computer just like Dropbox would do. Something in the magic pocket means it's always there no matter what you wear or where you are. The same thing is true for computers. If you have go watch the video yourself at dropbox.com and so that's basically what Sync does. Uh, you can sync a folder. It will be synced to your 25 gigabytes of SkyDrive storage. So I say I can sync up my pictures, sync, and choose SkyDrive sync storage. And if I have more computers, I should be able to see them here. Okay. And boom, syncing. The little sync uh, widget will just slide down here for Windows Live Sync, and it'll sync your folders every time there's a change. And you see up here, it's already been synced. So now I have this completely synced. Wherever I go on any computer, all backed up to my SkyDrive. Another thing that comes with Windows Live Sync Beta is remote. So I can now remotely control a computer or connect to this computer. So by using remote connections, you can get to the things you need in this computer even if they aren't synced in a folder. So it's basically a remote connection. Just like you would get in services like TeamViewer, which is completely free, which allows you to connect to different computers or even go to Assist. So that's what comes in Windows Live Sync Beta. Uh, very useful things indeed. Okay, so that's the Windows Live Essential beta pack. All the links mentioned you can download from are on my blog, alphacomputing.net, and this specific post is alphacomputing.net slash p slash 193, where you can go and it will be li I'll link you off to explore.live.com slash windows dash live dash essentials, which you can get the beta from. All the other software will be also explained in the post over at alphacomputing.net. But for now, that's been a video by me, alphacomputing.net. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and connect to me all over the internet, all over at alphacomputing.net. Alpha, signing off.